Here we are, screaming take on the middle rod. Ah, that screamed off, sorted. At last My love has come along My lonely days are over Three rods out again. Lee's come into the swim, and um, he had three fish out last night and had a 51 common. Unfortunately, his photographs aren't the best, apparently. So <laughs> never mind. But apparently, a lot of fish were out last night. So fingers crossed they'll be up for it again tonight. Paul's had them to 35. I've had them to 29, and obviously Lee's had a 51. The fishing's not bad. So um, Oriana, what's he got in store for the rest of the week? Fingers crossed, good moon phase at the moment. Hopefully big fish time, so fingers crossed. Just about to go out, do some marker float fishing, but I've bought my party kill mix. But it's got all sorts of goodness in it. Got maize, wheat, peas, some mojo boilies. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now before the wind gets up, I'm gonna go out there quickly now and put a marker out. Gonna go and put this bait all around it so fingers crossed for tonight eh? <laughs> Beautiful night it is tonight. Uh, we've got positions out. The fish been shown during the day. Usually that's a good sign. So um, we've got more bait out there. We've got more boilies. Come on, the mojo man. We need some big fish. You know, like, I mean, I leads out of 51, but the rest of the fish have been on a small, fairly small standard. And right now we could do with some bigger shoal coming in and getting into some nice larger fish. I think once Lee has gone, I think um, I may I may go out and explore a bit and try and fish in different areas. Oh, so beautiful though. You don't get much more beautiful scenic and the environment as good as this. I mean, look at that. That's epic, you know. Getting ready for the night. Oh, beautiful, eh? So, you've got Lee down there by the white van, you've got me in the middle, and we've got Paul fishing here. Stunning views, eh? Stunning. 
Tan en Dios. brings oh, it's bloody cold I tell you tuck myself into my bivin eat some food and watch some football come on the Liverpool <laughs> oh, first one of the night <laughs> sorry Lee oh. no there mate Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's gone out the front, he's gone out the front. <laughs> lower than that, babe, lower it right there. Oh, where am I going? Oh, I've got wet foot everything. That's it, baby. <laughs> right, hang on there. <sighs> <sighs> you reckon that was my rod? Oh, I reckon so, it must have been. It wasn't connected. It was, though, it was. Right? there's a bit of weed on it, mate. Was there? Yeah, it was your, the weed that was on your line connected to it, and that's when I clicked it, clamped off and it came off. That's not... that one, babe. Oh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look a monster, does it? <laughs> oh, never mind. Right, another day, another dollar. Last night I didn't get bugger all, nor did Paul. But Lee got five takes, four fish to 28 pounds. So the fish have been around and they've been jumping on the area. So um, fingers crossed we're going to get into them. So I'm changing my tactics slightly, not going, I'm going slightly less bait. I've got my baits critically balanced and I've actually took time over them this time. <laughs> uh, so fingers crossed, we're going to redo them now. I'm just going to stick them back out onto the area and fingers crossed we'll get a, a, a big fish tonight. Because they are here. We've been watching them jump around the markers during the daytime, so yeah, interesting. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when it goes dark, they'll be on it again. Anyhow, I think we'll get some fish tonight. Well, that's three rods again for the night, all ready to rock and roll. Positioned out there now nicely. So fingers crossed. Got Lee down here, he's got his six rods out again. <laughs> hopefully, we'll, we'll pick up a monster tonight. And Paul's just redoing his rods down here. <laughs> He's just getting his rods ready for the night. He's, we've got fish crashing all over us. The only one's catching right now is Lee. So, well, fingers crossed tonight, me and Paul might get a run or two. <laughs> well, look, lovely scenery now. 21 Celsius a day in middle of November. Beautiful. Oh, anyhow. Let's see what the night brings. Yeah, the size of these nets. There's a reason why Lee has nets this big. Because back in the day, him and Glenn were fishing one time, and Glenn lost a fish that couldn't get into his landing net. That he reckoned was possibly between 90 to 105 pounds. This is a man who knows big fish. So this is why they have the big nets. So just in case Lee comes across that fish. <laughs> Here's Lee set up, looking nice. He's banging them out at the moment. Lee the man, Lee the captain of the 80. Late record holder, <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, until we break it tonight, fingers crossed. <laughs> you never know, mate. Yeah, man. You never know in this place. No, for sure, that's the beauty of it.
of rare daytime action take. Oh, Lee's gone now. And Darren and Jason in. Uh, oh, I thought you might have a, a chance of an early morning run. talking about overcast drizzle fish jumping all over the place this is carpy boys last night the last one's Darren and Darren and um, Jason all three rods each went last night just missed that one jumping out by the marker but yeah Jason and Darren had three takes each last night. All the rods gone, all six rods going. The weather is perfect. Got two new guys turning up, Isaac turning up today and uh, Ben turning up two days later. And this is what we've been waiting for. Honestly, this weather, the fish in town. We've got a big southwesterly dew. Got heavy rain dew on Thursday. Conditions are much more. We've been just had it's too settled. It's been too nice. This is kind of like what the fish. This is how the weather the fish like to come in and bring it in on. You know. So um, this is spot on. And fish is still out there rolling right now, man. To be honest, man. I think if we had rods out there, we'd probably be getting action. <coughs> oh, I've got. I've got to get my things ready. I've got to get Alex. We've got four rods out down to the right here, but they're not really going. Not as much fish in that area at the moment, but they're definitely in this area here. Been watching them jumping one after the other. So, this is good to see. Oh, wow. Well, it's the dawn of a new day where the wind's going to be howling. The weather's going to be the worst we've seen and this is the kind of like the calm before the storm. Last night Paul had two takes, a couple of smallish fish. I had two takes, a couple of small, well one small fish and we got one there about 41 pounds. Obviously Isaac landed it which is bonus because it was his first fish just to get it out and that's good to see. But yeah, ooh. But yeah, no, um, the weather conditions are looking pucker, really. I mean, the wind, wind's blowing a bit wrong at the moment, but it's supposed to be blowing in this direction very hard soon. Uh, so, all good. We've got new clients in, obviously. Isaac's in. And um, Darren and Jason have left. On there last night, they landed three fish each. Nothing bigger than 28 pounds. But Jason left with 11 fish and Darren left with, I think, 5 or 6. So, yeah, so Isaac's first fish sitting in that sack right now. We're going to photograph and we're going to do some photos in a minute. £41. Excellent. Here we go. 
41 pounds of Oriana Common. Absolute stunner. What a gorgeous fish. You anything to say, Isaac? Mate, I'll tell you what. Come out here, it was hard for the first couple of days. This absolutely screamed off and uh, been rewarded with an absolute base of my first ever carp in, in Europe and out the mighty Orlana. All I can say is thank you for getting me out here. <laughs> no worries, bud, man. Let's hope we get some more with this weather, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I ain't gonna forget this in a hurry, I'll tell you that. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get her back to the depth. <laughs> yes, man. Well in, bud. Mega productive though, only one fish in the night. <coughs> very cool and very cold. We've got some sunshine coming, you can see it in the distance. Fingers crossed, we'll warm and dry everything off. Winter is here. Tell you now, man, I'm fully wrapped up. Rain was on me. It was pretty hard last night. Oh, feeling the cold. But some nice fish coming out. It wasn't not mega prolific at the moment, but 30, 41 and a 39 and a half following each other. So some better fish coming out, better stamp. So fingers crossed some 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 lumps. I've ordered more bait. I'm gonna stick it on it. <laughs> Who knows what might happen? Come on the mighty mojo, bring me that 60. destination I basically um, spooked a load of the birds out of here to be fair I mean to be fair then you ain't gonna see much with this GoPro in the night game 
If you look at bird nature reserve, they all come into here and they all sit and it's really nice to watch. So what I'm gonna do is just sit and watch for the next 10 minutes and then start head back, hopefully catch some fish. All right, here we go. Clients pretty much for carp fishing and done and dusted. We've got one more client coming in doing a bit of predator fishing. I've been using, like, like Paul's been using the B5 from the, what Lee left over and it's definitely drawn some fish into his area. It's definitely a winning bait. The Mojo here. Yeah. Magic spell by Vital Baits. It's what I've been um, catching my fish on. I've had some good fish on it. I had that 57 from last year on it and Ah, oh, it's, a, it's a cracking bait. It smells um, like a squid and octopus bait from years ago. So, it's doing all right, but there's other baits in the range from Vital Baits that are actually good, and it's got the called the Kraken, and we got some other good, 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 good quality baits. It's a good company. Best one I've found in Spain so far, anyway, by a long shot. Ah, <sighs> well. Luck hasn't followed me on Oriana this year. Every year I beat my PBs. This is my last rod out. Can't see me fishing tonight, to be honest. Um, so I'm packing all my gear away. Bits and pieces, got the bivvy pretty empty. And oh, Paul's gonna do one more night. Had to pack up, start doing it, do a bit of piking with Robert, and then head back to the land of fucking Ebro. I missed me boy, man. It's upsetting me, seeing how upset he's getting, being away from me. Don't like it. Uh, next year I'll bring him with me. <laughs> Anyhow, this looks like the end of my Oriana adventure. I'm not going to fish here again, I don't think, for the rest of the year season. And um, maybe come back next year, maybe not. I definitely don't think I'll be fishing this swim. I just feel like I've just I sold out now. Not had the greatest results, 150 and 140 in freaking a month and a bit. It's not the greatest fishing. Lots of 20s, lots of 30s, but they don't count. <laughs> you know, so freaking, it's not what we're after on here. Uh, so, yeah, Moriana, over and out. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos and stuff. You know, it still means a lot watching these videos and, um, seeing how it's progressing so make sure you click on the like button and subscribe buttons and ah oh, it's good to see the, the count rate rising anyhow i'm sure i'm going to do a few more i'm going to do a few more videos before i leave you i'm going to do a couple of other things so let's see how it goes anyhow here we go this will probably be the last video i do down in this session Right, another day, another dollar. Last night I didn't get bugger all, nor did Paul. But Lee got five takes, four fish to 28 pounds. So the fish have been around and they've been jumping on the area. So um, fingers crossed we're going to get into them. So I'm changing my tactics slightly, not going, I'm going slightly less bait. I've got my baits critically balanced and I've actually took time over them this time. <laughs> uh, so fingers crossed. I'm going to redo them now. I'm just going to stick them back out onto the air and fingers crossed we'll get a, a, a big fish tonight. Because they are here. We've been watching them jump around the markers during the daytime. So, yeah, interesting. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when it goes dark, they'll be on it again. Anyway, I think I will get some fish tonight. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed.
So fingers crossed. We're fingers crossed tonight. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I've got to stop saying fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Bleeper that one. Uh, fingers crossed.